today we are going to discuss about eigen functions and eigen values to understand these terms let's have an example this is the equation of time independent Schrodinger wave equation So in this equation we can see we have an operator we have a function and this gives a result we have a operator and a function and we can see the function itself is reproduced in the equation so here we see h what does h what is h h is hamiltonian operator this is a function and this function which is used in this equation is known as eigen function and e is termed as eigen value now we can understand what does the word eigen function and eigen value means eigen function is a function when an operator operates on it it reproduces itself so h is an operator which is known as hamiltonian operator and when we apply this operator on eigen function it reproduces itself and resulting we have a value e this value is known as eigen value so here we see we get an exact uh, definition of eigen function and we say when an operator operates on a function and the same function is reproduced with the same numerical value and then the function is called an eigen function and the numerical value which we get in the result of this uh, operator operation is called eigen value and the numerical value is called eigen value okay so i think you have got uh, enough understanding about what does the word eigen function and eigen value mean for example we have an equation d over dx differential equation cos x equals 
minus sin x. Here we can see d over dx is an operator. Cos x is a function. But in the result we see the function is not reproduced. So this is not not eigenfunction. Okay, let's take another example. Suppose we have an we have d over dx, another equation e ax. When we apply this operator, we get a, which is this one, dot e and a power power a x okay here we see we applied an operator this is an operator this one is function which is known as eigen function why we said it eigen because by applying this operator we have reproduced the same value e a x equals a dot e x and additionally we have got another value which is known as eigen value here are some other examples of eigen function d over d x e x equals 1 dot this is also an eigen equation. The same thing e e raised to power x is reproduced, so it is eigen equation. Other examples include suppose we have second differential equation, differential equation cos x over 4. When we apply this operator, we got 1 over 16 cos x over 4. We can see again the eigen function is reproduced. So, this value is also eigen value minus 1 by 16 is eigenvalue and cos x by 4 is eigenfunction. This is also an eigen equation. Another example includes d over dx. We get minus 4 dot e minus 4x again we can see the eigen function is reproduced so it's also eigen equation another example that i'm going to include is d over dx minus 4x square let's say what, what we get minus 8 x then e minus 4x square again the eigen value eigen function is reproduced minus 8x is eigen this is eigen value so i hope you have got enough understanding about the topic eigen function and eigen value and you have got clear all the concept about this topic if you like um, my work please subscribe to my channel and like my video and share more and more thank you